Hi all in this video we will discuss about steam turbine working principle of steam turbine impulse turbine reaction turbine and comparison between impulse and reaction turbines steam turbine is a prime mover in which rotating shaft work is developed by a steadily flowing fluid what is a prime mover well we can say it is the initial source of motive power for example if we are pumping water using a pump the prime mover is electric motor because it is the initial source of motion similarly steam turbine is used in steam power plants and is used to drive an electric generator for producing electric power in that case steam turbine is the prime mover we discussed about steam power plant in my first video the link is given in description you can check it now look at the figure here turbine blades are attached on the periphery of a wheel the working fluid is steam and when steam flows through these turbine blades due to change in momentum a force develops the turbine rotates and shaft work is produced so once again i am saying steam turbine is a prime mover in which rotating shaft work is developed by a steadily flowing fluid working principle of a steam turbine consider a moving blade where steam enters the blade at an angle alpha and leaves at an angle beta when the steam jet glides tangentially on the curved surface of blade the direction of steam flow changes it changes the momentum of steam jet and so a force develops and the blade moves with a linear velocity according to newton's second law the force developed is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum acting on the blade let m dot be the mass flow rate of steam in kilogram per second v1 and v2 be the inlet and exit velocity of steam in meter per second and f be the force developed look at the figure i resolved velocity into its components now force developed on the blade is equal to the rate of change of momentum of jet in the direction of force that is mass flow rate of steam into change in velocity so f equals m dot into v1 cos alpha minus minus of v2 cos beta when we remove brackets we get f as m dot into v1 cos alpha plus v2 cos beta now torque is force into radius of v that is f into r which is m dot into v1 cos alpha plus v2 cos beta into r we can write the linear velocity of blade as u equals pi d n by 60 where d is the diameter of the wheel and n is the rotation per minute we can write the power developed as p equals force into linear velocity that is f into u when we substitute the expressions of force and velocity we will get power as 2 pi nt by 60 where t is the torque developed impulse turbine in the video of steam power plant i said steam is generated in boiler and then the steam expands in turbine producing shaft work and goes to the condenser a simple impulse turbine consists of a set of moving blades and a set of nozzles as shown in figure the blades of impulse turbine are symmetrical impulse turbine is also called as d level turbine the impulse turbine works on the principle of impulse that is when steam flows through the turbine blades a motive force is developed due to change in momentum and hence the turbine rotates the direction of blade rotation is shown in figure the variation of pressure and velocity is also shown in figure green line is velocity variation and blue line is pressure variation when steam flows through the nozzle the pressure of steam decreases 
from boiler pressure to condenser pressure but velocity increases when steam flows through the moving blades pressure remains constant because the blades are symmetrical but velocity decreases as work is developed hence pressure decreases only when steam flows through the nozzle and remains constant when steam flows through the turbine blades reaction turbine here pressure of steam decreases gradually while expanding through fixed blades and moving blades it consists of a set of fixed and moving blades it consists of large number of stages but we are now considering a single stage turbine only fixed blade is in red color and moving blade is in blue color reaction turbine is also known as parsons turbine the velocity and pressure variation is also shown in figure no nozzles are provided in reaction turbine the fixed blade functions as nozzle and directs steam to moving blades hence fixed blades is also known as guide blades in reaction turbine rotation is caused by the reactive force due to change in momentum impulsive force is also there but the work produced by reactive forces is very large compared to impulsive forces in reaction turbine pressure decreases when steam flows through fixed and moving blades as the blades are not symmetrical velocity increases when steam flows through fixed blades and decreases when flows through moving blades now we can compare impulse and reaction turbines based on our discussions for impulse turbine steam pressure decreases only in nozzle and remains constant in moving blades we already know that and for reaction turbine steam pressure decreases both in fixed and moving blades the turbine blades are symmetrical for impulse turbine and not symmetrical for reaction turbine now for developing same power reaction turbine needs more number of stages compared to impulse turbine i already said that and because of that reaction turbine needs more space for unit power and impulse turbine needs less space for developing unit power and impulse turbine is suitable for small power applications and reaction turbine is suitable for medium and large power applications okay i hope you understood all the topics if you like the video subscribe my channel and click the bell icon also thank you